teachers, welcome back to my channel where we talk everything special education. If that interests you, make sure you click the subscribe button and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we are going to be talking about a bunch of different activities that you can use when you are teaching budgeting or do I have enough money. Go ahead and comment below what topics you teach within money. There's so many different topics, so I'm actually curious to know what kind of things you teach in your classroom when you're teaching money. Let's get into it. The first activity that I have for you is a dice game. My students love playing this game. Your students will roll a dice and whatever the number is, they will collect that coin. So for example, if they roll a number four, they will collect a quarter. You will have all of these cards facing down and students will grab one. So we will just grab one here. And this is a candy apple and it costs 85 cents. So your students will determine if they have enough money to purchase this. So as the rounds go on, students will keep their money that they've collected and continue to add up how much money they have. So eventually they will have 85 cents. Each round, students will answer yes or no to the question of do they have enough money. If they get the answer correct, they give themselves a point. Then by the end of the game, the student with the most amount of money and the student with the most amount of points points wins the game. So there can be two winners or it might be the same winner, who knows. All of the next activities that I'm going to be talking about are all leveled. So there's three different levels since all of our students are, of course, at different levels. I love to have pass cards on hand at all time, but if you've watched any of my other YouTube videos, you know that I love a good scavenger hunt. So I will hide my task cards around the classroom or tape them to the walls and students will find the task cards and then record their answers on the recording sheet. So it's just another fun way for students to practice budgeting and do they have enough money. Third, I have cut and paste worksheets so students will add up how much they have and see how much the item costs and then they will cut and paste the yes or the no into the correct box answering the question, do I have enough money? Here is another kind of practice worksheet that I like to make into a packet that is also leveled and students will circle if they have enough money, yes or no. And the last worksheet I have is a matching worksheet and I love to do matching worksheets on my smart board. So students will add up the coins and then they will answer if they have enough money to buy the pencils up here in the corner and students will draw a line to the correct answer. I have a big variety of these worksheets too. I have two more activities for you guys. This is a this or that do I have enough money game. Students will determine which side has enough money. You can have your students get out of their seats and go to the side of the room that matches the amount that has enough money. Also, this game is leveled so you can pick out the slides that you wanna do with your students to meet their needs. There are the three levels. So here's our first example. Students will determine which side has enough money. As you can see, the first side has 22 cents and the apple is 20 cents. So that side does have enough money. The second side is 61 cents, but the beach ball costs 74 cents, so they do not have enough money. So students will go to the correct side of the room. And I'll just flip through here so you can see our different slides that we have and our different levels. Next, I have a budgeting kaboom game. You will make two to four teams of students taking turns. Each team will choose a number. Students will click the number and the slide will either have a math problem or a kaboom. If the team gets a kaboom, they lose their turn. If the team solves the math problem correctly, they get a point and if they get it wrong, they do not receive a point. So we will say that the first team picks question number eight. So they will add up this amount and they will see if they have enough money. The answer is yes, I do have enough money. Then we'll say that the next team picks number three. Well, here's a kaboom, so they will lose their turn. And I'll just flip through the slides again so you can see these. So there you have it. I hope these gave you some good ideas of what to teach with your students when you're teaching them budgeting. All of these activities are linked in the description of this YouTube video or you can find them on my TPT store called Activa Teacher. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to comment below what topics you like to teach in your classroom when it comes to money. All right, until next time, happy teaching.